I do believe that not necessarily is creativity important for the reasons people usually say. What creativity gives us, and I strongly believe it does, it makes better people. It makes people who are, you know, more able to live in this very complicated world in an emancipatory way, better citizens, people who are able to deal more effectively with their own problems, with their own lives, people who are more satisfied. What we need to better understand is the role of emotions, the role of motivation, the role of self-regulation, if you like, in the process. When we are talking about longer process, like writing a poem or a novel, or composing, if you like. That's, that's the main question. How we self-motivate, how we regulate this process. We need to give children also the space to think, the space to develop their ideas. Creativity is not always, you know, a momentary activity. The first ideas are quite rarely the best ones. Creativity in its time, even this cognitive creativity. This triarchic connection between creativity, emotion and the arts could have very different meaning from the perspective of the creator and from the perspective of audience. And in the case of audience, it, it could mean something quite different. The most of our efforts was concentrated on thinking in terms of the role of different self-beliefs and their role to creative processes, to creative activity, which is not that far from emotions and motivation, because in fact, those are motivational factors. So this is the question, you know, the way how we are thinking about ourselves in terms of our creative capacities, in terms of our creative potential, in terms of creativity as a construct, influences and changes our motivation, our efforts, our activity, whether it pushes us or maybe it somehow stops stops us from, from making uh, some creative progresses.